This hack tip is brought to you by T-Mobile and the Samsung Galaxy S3. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today I'm getting into some more Linux Terminal 101. So we've been working with all these commands so far, but what exactly is a command? It's either an executable program, a built-in shell command like change directory cd, a shell function, or an alias, a command that we define ourselves built from other commands. Now how do you know what kind of command you're using? This is easy, with the type command. You can type in type and then the command. So if I wanted to find out what ki kind of command type is, I would type type type. <laughs> so let's check that out, if that isn't enough types for one sentence. So this shows me that type is actually a shell built-in command. You can type ls, type ls, and this shows me that it is an alias command. The which command will show us where these commands exist on the system. For example, which ls, like so, is going to show me that the ls command is found in slash bin slash ls. The which command won't work for built-ins or alias commands that are substitutes for actual executables. That's one thing to remember. For example, which cd gives me nothing. Huh. Interesting. Now that we know what a command is, we can find out more info about it and the help, with the help command, which I've mentioned previously in some other hack tips. You can type in help cd for change directory, and this gives me all sorts of information about a built-in command called cd. Tac tac help is another option that'll display the command supported syntax and some options as well. So if I type in mkdir, so make directory, and then tac tac help and enter, I get a listing of all sorts of options and descriptions for each one. Now after the break, we'll check out why what a man is and why why it exists. Hmm. Man. I'd like to thank T-Mobile for sponsoring this episode of Hack Tip. In fact, this entire episode is being recorded on the new Samsung Galaxy S3 on T-Mobile. It's loaded with features like a huge 4.8 inch screen, an HD camera on the back, Samsung's new ShareShot, and AllShare to connect with the world around you, and so much more. When combined with T-Mobile's 4G network, the Samsung Galaxy S3 will let you do things that you would have never imagined. Head over to bit.ly slash spin to win H5 and learn more and maybe even win a phone or other Samsung products in their spin to win contest. We're back with man. No, really. There's a program called man that will show you a manual or a man page. I don't know why it's called man. Manual. Yeah, I guess it works. So, for example, let me clear this out. I can type in man ls. And I'll get a nice little listing of a manual of all sorts of usage. Very cool and probably very informative. I can also type, let's quit out of there, I can also type man woman. And obviously there is no manual entry for woman. <laughs> get it? I know, terrible joke. You may find yourself needing to find a specific section of a manual. If so, you may need to search one of the eight man sections. You can type man5 passwd, for example, to search for the manual page in section 5 regarding passwd. So I'll type in man5 passwd. And this looks in all the areas of section 5 for the words passwd. Now I've linked a site that has a really good list of all the man page organizations in the show notes and you can search man pages as well with the command apropos. So you can type apropos floppy for example to get a search of everything that has the word floppy in it. So let's check that out. Quit out of here again. Apropos floppy. And it gives me a nice short little list of everything that has floppy in it, just like it should. Awesome. Also, if you want to just take a quick look at what a command does, you can type in what is and then the command. So if I type in what is ls, it tells me ls is the list directory contents command. It gives me a short and sweet description of what ls is. And if you want more information about it, you can type in info. 
information info. Huh, easy. So I type in info, ls, and I get a whole lot more in a description page about that command. Probably a little bit too much information than what I really actually needed. Now, how did you guys learn the terminal? There are tons of handy websites out there that really go into detail about how to use it. I'm learning and I want you guys to learn along with me. So tell me about your favorites in the comments and email me at tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust. Yay, well done with that one. <laughs>